ADOS, proud sponsors of ADOS Addicted to Fishing. I'm Nikki Sinder, and since I could hold a handline, I have been addicted to fishing. Whether it's straylining for snapper, jigging for kingfish, dropping deep for harpooka, or jumping in and going spearfishing, I love it all. each week as I road trip around the country, travelling to both New Zealand's most iconic fishing destinations and stepping off the beaten track to show just how good Kiwi fishing really is. Whether it's a girls trip, fishing with a local or riding solo, I am on a constant quest to satisfy my insatiable fishing addiction. Welcome to ADOS Addicted to Fishing. This week we're heading down to the South Island and we're targeting a rather unusual species. We're going to be targeting them by surf casting with our feet pressed firmly on the cobblestone beach. Here we are in Birdlings Flat. It's an hour south of Christchurch. This peninsula is well known for its epic surf casting spot, delivering several shark species, kahawai, the occasional blue mochi close to the rocks, some great blue cod fishing after dark, and the target species that we're after, the elusive elephant fish. Elephant fish are most commonly found in the lower north and the South Island. They're averaging three to four kilos in weight and 60 to 90 centimeters. Hey Matt, how's it going? Hey Nikki, how are you? Welcome to the South Island. Oh, thank you. It's uh, good to be here. To you. Ready for hopefully some uh, elephant fish. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty excited. I hear that this is the place to be, place to get them. Oh yeah, yes, yeah, one of one of one of them. Yeah. You yeah. um you were out on Saturday? Yeah, I was out here with a couple of mates on Saturday, and we we got twenty between us. Twenty. Yeah, biggest probably around eighteen pound. Wow. Average definitely uh, over twelve pound. Okay, so we know that they're here. And what's what's the weather been like between now and then? It's it's what day are we now? Wednesday. Yeah. Well, Wednesday now, so it's only been four days since you were fishing here. It's, uh, unfortunately, we have had a, a southerly through, which um, roughed the the sea up here. Uh, it, to be honest, it's going to be touch and go whether we can even uh, fish this morning, but we'll we'll give it a shot. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm always keen for a challenge, so yeah. let's get our stuff and all right hit the beach. Awesome. Beautiful. It sure is. What do you reckon? Some big sets rolling in right where we are here. I think we might try heading off to the left there a bit, see if we can get a line in there. Yeah. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. So this area here, it just drops straight off, doesn't it? It does. It's quite a steep uh, beach, yes. It's reasonably deep. That's going to be good for our fishing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, let's get into it. All right. This looks like a bit of us. Yeah, yeah. We have to keep our gear well back. That every now and then there's a big set coming right up. Beautiful morning. Yeah, sure is. Right, where are we going to put these? All right, um, we'll put them fairly, fairly high up today because of that swell coming up every now and then. Okay. Elephant fish are a seasonal species who are found in shallow coastal waters from October through to March. They like beaches with deep gutters, which is why they love it here. But just a heads up, if you feel like taking a dip, maybe don't do it at Birdlings Flat. It drops straight off and has a fierce current with a very dangerous undertow. Right, so this is your rig here. So we've yep. got 
50 pound suffix, we've got 60 pound fluorocarbon. Yep. And what size hook is that? It's five bar O, circle hook. With a little lumo bees. Lumo for a bit of attractant during the day, yeah. 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 And then we've got a breakaway here. Yeah, five ounce today. Cool. And what are we using for bait? We're going to use uh, paddle crabs, try and avoid too much bycatch in the way of uh, dogfish and little school sharks, which can be a problem on other baits. Yeah. And we'll just tie them on with some... Uh, bait, bait elastic. Bait yeah. elastic, yeah. OK. And so the plan is that the alley fish are generally sitting just behind the waves, is that right? You know, they can be in close feeding, but sometimes we need to vary it and, you know, try a long cast or a short cast, see what's working. OK, so we'll work the area like a bit of a grid to see where the bites are happening, yeah. and then once we figure that out, yeah. we'll start targeting that yeah. area. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Right, let's get some baits in the water. All righty. It's very rare for an elephant fish to take a slab of bait, but if you have a paddle crab or some cooked prawns on the menu, they won't be able to resist. Keep your circle hook exposed and wrap some bait elastic around it to keep it on the hook. Oh, this is like torture. Is it swell? Is it the fish? Is it swell? Is it the fish? Are you hooked up already? Yeah. That is amazing! <laughs> this week, we are surf casting in Birdlings Flat in Canterbury, targeting a fish that has been on my bucket list for a really long time, the elusive elephant fish. We've got local elephant fish expert Matt Stone here showing us the ropes. But will we be able to come across one of these slippery critters? This guy caught 20 elephant fish in two hours, four days ago. So we've shot down here to Christchurch on a whim, hoping that we can come face to face with one of these elusive elephant fish, but we will see. There's a lot of other bycatch that we could come across here, like lemon shark, also known as rig, uh, spotty dogs. They're quite prolific here, but fingers crossed for the elephant fish. Could be a rig, not sure. Oh no, she's an elk. Yes. Ellie. That is amazing! <laughs> First cast elephant fish. Not a bad size one either. So this one's a female. Yes. We now can, uh... we're fishing in December and this is the best time of year to catch them, isn't it? It is down 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 here anyway, down the spit, yeah. So Matt, is this a typical size for the elephant fish? Oh yes, definitely. They grow a lot bigger. Getting them at 18, 19 pounds. Wow. So you, you came here the other day and you caught quite a few. Now, what was the average size the other day? Average size would have been 12, 13 pounds. Wow. So we've used, uh, we're using squid this morning and we're also using paddle crabs, which were yep. freshly collected by this guy here. Yeah. Now, what are the, is it true that they don't take baits? 
the sorry the like they, they don't take normal fish baits. Oh, I wouldn't say they don't. But generally, you're best if you want to, to target it. them with, with something like what you've mentioned, the yeah. paddle crabs or prawns or uh, squid. Apparently, you can uh, catch them on crayfish as well. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah. Depends on how much you like the elephant fish as to whether you want to yeah. give up your crayfish for that. But anyway, let's get this one back in the yep. water and put our yep. lines back out again. Now we're playing the waiting game. We just watch the rod tip for little nods, similar to broadbill fishing, but on a completely different scale. It has these movements, and I'm like, is it the swell? Is it a fish? Is it a swell? Is it a fish? With the type of sinkers that we're using, they bury into the bottom of the ocean, so you pick up a lot of movement. But the fact that we're using circle hooks means that the fish will hook itself and then the rod will just bend over. And that's how you know that you're on. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Come on, please me, Nelly. Came all this way. Come on. Come on. What is it? Ah, it's not an Ellie. It's a, it's a little baby rig. So this is a bycatch. Woo! He wants to dance with me. This is a bycatch here today as well. Do you normally eat these? They're nice, uh, nice eating, particularly nice eating. that size. Nice medium, yeah. small ones. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. He's tough, man. Pick him up, and he really wants to make you boogie, doesn't oh, he? Oh yeah, stronger fighters than, yeah. than elephant fish. Okay, well let's put him back. Yep. Here we go. Tackle Tips and Tactics, brought to you by Smart Marine. Welcome to our Smart Marine Tackle Tip for this week. I'm gonna share with you how to do your rigs for your elephant fish. Quite simple and easy, but there is a few different components to it. Firstly, let's start at the top. We've got a 15 kilo little swivel, and that's attached to our 60 pound Oshia Fluoro. We've got about 750 of this, leading down to our three-way swivel. And the next bit that comes off the swivel that goes to the side is our five burrow circle hook attached with a five turn uni and a little lumo bead. The lumo bead is perfect because when this is in the water, the elephant fish can, cut, can see it easily. Now, I like these three way swivels because the beauty of these is that they can turn around and it goes with it. So hopefully there won't be any tangles. Now moving down to the bottom part of our three way swivel, we've got, we're gonna connect our breakaway sinker. These are generally used for surf casting off the beach and digging into the sand. So you, this is how it's set properly. We're gonna cast out and this is gonna get stuck in the sand and it's gonna hold our rig nice and tight. And when you want to wind in and pull your rig back in, these bits here, they just pop out of place and it comes free from the sand. So that's really cool. Now we're going to attach this to the end of our rig via a five turn uni knot. 
and voila, that's how we do it. For all your fishing needs, head on down to your local Smart Marine store. Just after the break, I battle with a South Island alley fish. Here we are in the stunning South Island, where land-based fishing and birdlings flat targeting elephant fish, with our mate, Matt Stone. Matt's already landed an elephant fish, and I've got myself a rig. So we've just noticed that there's a, a young boy that's joined us on the beach here. I assume that he's going for elephant fish. It's just, looks like he's just hopped up there. There's also a boat further past him, a trawler that's obviously come too close into the shore and has beached itself. Anyway, back to the fishing. Wonder, I hope he's catching an elephant fish over there. You're stealing our target species. We're filming a show over here and you're catching all the fish. I'm Nikki, what's your name? Jaden. Jaden, hey. Hi. You're local around here? Yeah, I live in Christchurch. Oh, nice. What a beautiful fish you got there, mate. Yeah. Not a bad size either. What'd you catch that on? Paddle crabs. Paddle crabs, yeah. they seem to be the thing that all these fish are taking. How old are you? 14. 14? Yeah. And you come down here quite often and... Yeah, quite a bit. Yeah? Do you yeah. know that guy Matt that we're fishing with? Have you met him before? Yeah, once or twice. Once or twice? Yeah. yeah. Well, hey mate, you're welcome to come up and fish with us yeah, if I you want do. to. Yeah. Yeah? Cool. We're just filming a show and we're just trying to show off these beautiful fish. I've actually always wanted to catch one of these, so... Yeah. yeah. It's pretty cool to see them face to face. Look at their beautiful snout. I don't know if you call that beautiful or not, but... So they're obviously bottom feeders. They just suck along the bottom of the ocean and they just pick up all the crustaceans and all the shellfish. Yeah. Pretty wicked looking fish. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Some people say they're pretty ugly. I reckon they're, I reckon they're all right. You're all right by me, mate. You're all right by me. Right, you're gonna take this one home or let it go? I'm gonna release it. Oh, nice. to how windy it's just become. Uh, had to grab my jacket out. That wind is insane, it's just picked up in like the last five minutes. 20 knots from the south. Woo, feel it. This will probably affect our fishing, won't it, Matt? Yeah, it will cut short our fishing. That swell will uh, start to rise. We may get another hour or so uh, out of it. We haven't done too badly, no, but no. it would be nice to get a couple more fish. Yeah, but... yeah. You can definitely tell the difference <laughs> when you get a southerly on the South Island compared to the North Island, that's for sure. Oh well, at least we've got a few fish this morning. We yep, haven't done yep. too badly. No, it's been all right. Yes, for sure. Whew. Come on, Ellie. <laughs> Couple more, come on. Come on, please be an Ellie. Please be an Ellie. it out in this what must be 30 knots now and uh, if 
finally got my alley, came all the way down here for it. I'm actually really happy right now. Thank you so much, no Matt problem. and Jaden. This is just so cool. And finally feeling one of these fish. Um, I can feel how it's it's sort of got that cart, what's the word, car, cartilage? Yeah, yeah. Quite yeah. hard to say yeah. that, cartilage, yeah. just like a shark. Yeah. Yeah, so it is in the shark family. Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for having me down here in Canterbury. I did my, did my nails red for Canterbury colours and I think uh -huh. it's paid off. And uh, we should probably get out of here because it's getting pretty crazy. But I hope you've enjoyed the show this week on ADOS Addicted to Fishing. We'll see you again next week. Let's put this one back, eh? Yeah. Okay. Gear, Care and Catch, brought to you by Trade Zone. Our mates over at CRC have designed Vortex Wash and Wax. It's specifically designed as a two-in-one formula, which combines a high-quality cleaner with protective carnivore wax to leave your vehicle in the best possible condition. It's also got an easy hose convenience, so you don't need a bucket and there's no mess. CRC Vortex Wash and Wax is a high-quality foaming cleaner, and it's formulated to be safe on all painted finishes, yet strong enough to remove the toughest dirt and road grime. Cheers, CRC. For all your engineering needs, head in store or order online at www.tradezone.co.nz. Check out our YouTube and Facebook page for complete episodes, competitions, and all your fishing updates. ADOS Addicted to Fishing is proud to be with Extreme Boats powered by Honda Marine. And we tow it around with our Ford Ranger. Smart Marine supply us with our Shimano Tackle and we find the best fishing spots with our Furuno. We cook our catch thanks to barbecues and more and clean up using Bosch hot water products supplied by our local Chester's plumbing store. We keep up to date with New Zealand Fishing News Magazine and it all sticks together thanks to ADOS.